Okay, this is my dosed cup CBT. That's the belt drive. And the CBT MBO hub. And this is the controller. Now we're apparently stationary. This is the twist throttle. It is quite hard to twist. I can downshift, but I'm having to put a lot of pressure on it, and it doesn't go all the way. I can upshift, and that's a lot of pressure as well, and it does go all the way. Now, take the kickstand off and start moving. Now, with freewheeling the bike, I can downshift all the way. If I stop, I can only downshift partially. I start moving again, then I can downshift. So, what's going on? This is extremely stiff. So stiff, as you can see, I've given myself a blister. The slack in the cables here seems to be as advertised between half and one millimeter, but this hub does not seem to want to shift when it's not moving, and it doesn't seem to want to shift when there's any load. So while I'm pedaling or the motor is running, it does not seem to want to shift. Also note that when I've upshifted to almost the highest gear, the cable is completely loose. I'm not sure if it should be like that. I'm suspicious that it shouldn't be. So it seems to me these cables are probably not set properly. So, completely stationary in my driveway in PAS5, I find myself in the highest gear with a hill to go up. So I twist to change. This is quite stiff and difficult to change, and it only goes that far. Okay, let's see what happens when I start moving the bike. If I'm freewheeling it, I can now change it. If I stop, it stops again. So, let's try cycling up and see what happens. So I got to the top of the hill, but I wasn't able to downshift at all by cycling up, even though my cadence was slowing down. I'm at the top of the hill, and now it allows me to downshift so that I see the little mountain. But I could not do that. And of course, if I stopped pedalling, I would stop moving. So now I'm at the top of the hill. I'm going to go down this hill and see if I can upshift as my speed increases. So as you can see, I could upshift while I was freewheeling down the hill, but as soon as I started pedalling, it stopped me from upshifting, even though my cadence was 120 per minute. And the pressure I had to put on the gear shifter was so high that my band-aid came off. I'm now stationary, and now that I'm stationary, I can fully upshift. But while I was moving, while I was pedaling, I could not. I'm on a slight uphill now, so I probably want to start off downshifted. And there's a lot of pressure on this to move it. And I can move it to a hill, but I can't move it to make a little mountain. Maybe that'll be enough to get me going, let's see. So I was able to get going and now I'm on a slight, slight downhill. I could not, I could upshift, I could downshift if I wanted to, but I could not upshift. So I'm stuck in this gear, I can't get into any uh, higher of a gear. Although now I'm stationary, it will let me get into a higher gear. But while I'm moving, but it won't let me get all the way. You can see there's still a little hill there. I'm stuck. And now I can't downshift anymore. I can't upshift or downshift even though I'm stationary. If I start freewheeling, which I'll probably try and kill myself. Yeah, I'll try that again. 
again. Let's see if freewheeling will let me do it. So, freewheeling down that slight incline allowed me to upshift and downshift. Well, again, not to upshift to a completely flat line. Upshifting, downshifting to bodies or upshifting. I'll go down this further incline, start pedaling, and see if pedaling alters the behavior. So I pedaled down that brief decline, could not upshift nor downshift while pedaling, which stayed in the same gear. And I go down to the bottom, turn around, and then I've got this incline to get up, so I'm going to want to downshift to get up this. Let's see if it will let me do this while I'm pedaling. So even on this gentle incline, I could only upshift if I stopped pedaling for a brief second and started freewheeling. While pedaling, though, upshifting, downshifting, sorry, was allowed. So I managed to get to a reasonably low gear here uh, without coming to a stationary halt. But as you can see, it's a very gentle incline. And again, the pressure I have to put on this to turn it is such that it just strips my band-aid off my finger, which now has a considerable blister underneath. So coming into this fairly steep hill at around 20 miles an hour, on a very high gear, it would not let me shift to a lower gear unless I stopped pedaling and then my speed dropped down to about 8 miles an hour. I could quickly change to a very low gear and get up the hill in PAS5 with extremely stiff. Now I'm stationary and you can see what sort of pressure I'm putting on this and it's not moving at all. If I grip it like crazy and really twist it I can get it to downshift a little bit more. Can I get to upshift? No, not. Maybe a little bit. This is really more pressure than I'm comfortable putting on it. And then really it stopped completely. So essentially I'm having to put this thing in sort of mid-gear and treat this like a, like a hub motor for all intents and purposes because I really can't shift on the fly, which is uh, clearly not how this is designed to be used. I'm guessing there's something to do with the length of the cables, as the cable has considerable, has normal slack up here, but a lot of slack down at the other end.